I love it. I love it. I love it. You got me. You got me with this movie. I haven't seen the movie yet, but you got me. I need to know this right now before this video begins. Are y'all trying to kill me? First, you wanted me to react to We Don't Talk About Bruno, and that completely ruined me. Then yesterday, we did surface pressure. If We Don't Talk About Bruno killed me, surface pressure put me below the surface. So here we are today with what I believe is the final singing, sing song along song. Let the story conclude today unless there's another song. Let me know down below in the comments your favorite song from Encanto. I guess it's time for me to go to heaven with this song because damn. I feel like I know this whole movie already and I haven't even watched it yet. Just from these videos. I'm only part of the amazing Madrigals. You even got the drawers and the floor singing. Oh my god. This is our home. We've got every generation. So full of music, a rhythm of its own design. This is my family, a perfect constellation. Ooh. Many stars and <laughs> Don't show me this girl again. Do not show me her. Because what she did to me in that last video in the surface pressure. Yeah, you, you. You got me. You are a singer. You are amazing. Wow. She has a very soothing voice. Nothing insane that is making me lose my complete mind like the other singers have done. But it's very soothing. It has its own style to it. And I appreciate that. Not every voice has to blow you away and completely blow the shit out of your ass. Like, this is happy. I'm feeling happy. Like, I want to smile. I want to cross an old lady across the street. I want to shake a dude's hand. Oh my gosh, it's them. What are the kids? I remember all the kids. Right, all right, relax. It is physically impossible to Aww. Cute baby. And that's why coffee's for grown-ups. Oh. Might be a good effect for weather. When she's unhappy, well, the temperature gets weird. Might be a Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno. Okay. And that's why mom would get that here's her deal. Whoa. Make sure that she can heal you with a meal. We need this. We need music like this. If you're impressed, imagine how. I like this. This is cute. This is really cute. This is making me smile. I can't get the smile off my damn face. You know what I love about this compared to the other songs? This is her perspective. This is her telling you about the family. As we don't talk about Bruno gives you a perspective from each character. You get their mood, each character's mood. Then surface pressure is more about... I think her name is Luisa, Luisa. You get her side of the story and who she is and what she's dealing with. Now here is, I think her name is Mirabel or Mirabella. I, I can't say these names. I want a sequel to this movie and I haven't even seen the movie yet. We're definitely getting another one. Encanto 2, definitely. Madiga. Oh, okay. We swear to always help those around us and earn the miracle that somehow found us. The town keeps growing, the world keeps turning, but work and dedication will keep the miracle burning. Okay. New generation must keep the miracle burning. Okay. We got a different voice there. I haven't heard her voice yet. That's like a traditional voice right there. I love that. It's a voice that is aged. And I'm not saying that about her age, but I'm saying like that's a voice that experienced a lot. And I love that. You get that through the little song time that she has. The world keeps turning, but work and dedication will keep the miracle burning. And each new generation must keep the miracle burning. Ooh, I love these lyrics. Who's a cousin? There's so many people. The kids are so cute. Okay, okay, okay. I want a baby. So 
I love it. I love it. I love it. You got me. You got me with this movie. I haven't seen the movie yet, but you got me. Okay? We need music like this. Like, there's a time and place for everything, but the world coming together, her describing her family, I love it. Do I love this song more than the other two? No. The other two are catchy. They give you different emotions, but this is very different where you can't really compare it to the other two. You know what I really love? I really love this. Now, I'll tell you why. We had Louisa, we had her in Surface Pressure connect with us in a way that made even adults of whatever age emotional and relate to her. But in this video, it's like you don't get that. It's like you get the sister, you get Mirabelle telling us about the family, but we don't know anything about them. We just assume this is a normal family, but this just shows you. Just because we see something, we see everything's fine, doesn't mean it is. And then we get her perspective and surface pressure. And it's so beautiful. I love that. It's like these little messages, these little things that I feel like are intentional are the most beautiful, the smallest things. I like that rhythm. Isabella Louisa. Oh my god, those voices together, bro. It's so, it, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Aww. I'm a cry. Madiga. Uh. No, come back! What's your gift? Oh. I love it. Oh, but now it's so you good. Oh. I never meant this to get all of my Yes, yes, yes. This is why I say the director, the writers are a genius. They're geniuses. It's simple as that. I saw people in the comments say they wish they could see this in live action. No, uh-uh. I, I want it like this. I want it animated. I don't need no live action shit. Keep it this way. Do not make it live action like you did with Lion King. Okay, we all know how that turned out. God. Perfect. What are you doing? Being uh, perfect. They were just asking about the family. She and... was about to tell us about her super awesome gift. Oh, Mirabel didn't get one. Oh, she has a gift. Girl can sing. I'll admit it. That song was not as good as the other two, but I still loved it. I still had a good feeling. You still got feelings, you still got different emotions from this. It's like the prelude to everything else. It's the, it's the prelude to the whole story. It's describing everything from a single perspective. But throughout the movie, I feel like you dive deeper into these perspectives. You see the complexity within this simple description of what she was singing about her family. We got a simple description of her sisters, of her abuela, of her father, of whatever. We got different perspectives, different descriptions for each character. It's the beauty of storytelling and music at the same time. That's why I really love this director, but it's not all the director. You have the writers, you have the singers. It's everybody working together as one. But wow, it's it's honestly so beautiful to see this. The final product, what it comes out to be when everyone works together and this is what you get. And that's why so many people are loving this. That's why my reactions are getting so many views for Encanto, because everybody's loving this movie. So the director must have done something right. These writers, these singers, they did something right, okay? This is beautiful. I love this. I love music. I love storytelling. And when it's all combined, 
Yes, you get three thumbs up. I'll grow a third hand just to put another thumb up. Anyways, guys, I love you all so much. What do you think of this song? What do you think of the video? Let me know down below. Other than that, I love you all so much, and I'll see you in the next video.